GMK. 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 Before I cover about GMK keycaps, let me cover about Cable Mod. Cable Mod. Cable Mod has newly released custom keyboard cables. You can customize your own keyboard cable to your own liking, from directions of the cables, size of the coil to the general length of the cable. Customize any part of your cables with your color of your choice. They have custom developed aluminum shell USB connectors that are available in all kinds of color combos. Nicely shaped and firm coil produced with the so-called reverse coil for a higher durability. They told me to show off the cables, so I'm gonna show off the cables. Okay, so let's cover what's GMK. Think of this video as one of those law videos, like one of those great story behind GMK. GMK is a German company that focuses on the design of luxury keycaps for mechanical keyboards. GMK stands for Gunther, Meinhardt, and Kretler. They're the last names of the founder of the company. GMK keycaps are unique with custom and limited edition designs, which can usually only be bought through group buys ahead of time for a really steep price. Their keycap profiles are made in a cherry profile with a uniquely thick ABS plastic. And many people find this unique ABS plastic to sound and look better than other keycaps. They usually fetch a price of around $200 and are oftentimes more expensive than the actual keyboard. Not to mention if you are looking for an aftermarket set, you can usually expect to pay an additional $100 or more for the keycaps, depending on the popularity and availability on that specific set. So the question is, why the heck are these keycaps so expensive? The cherry profile is unique because it is shorter and thicker than most other keycap profiles. And to add on, the thick plastic creates a nice acoustic that everyone likes. GMK actually purchased the tooling from Cherry themselves so that they can produce the authentic Cherry profile of the keycap. Other keycap manufacturers actually create their own tools instead of paying for the rights. So their keycaps are actually an imitation of the Cherry profile and not really the real thing. When you purchase a stock keyboard, it actually comes with thin poorly made ABS plastic compared to the GMK thick and nice sounding ABS plastic. After a short period of time, the poorly made ABS actually wears down and they develop a lot of grease and shine to them. To improve your keycaps, most people actually recommend you to upgrade to PBT. PBT is a plastic that is known to last longer and is much more durable compared to poorly made ABS plastic. And that is why GMK is so unique because they're going in a different direction. They make their high-end keycaps out of thick ABS plastic instead. This may seem a little weird at first, why would you use ABS over PBT when PBT PBT is much more durable. Thick ABS plastic actually allows your keyboard to have no warping and very few imperfections, along with colours that pop better and improved acoustics. So the combination of a limited purchasing window and their unique designs, they basically can charge any price they want for the keycaps. So this brings us to our question, are GMKs really worth buying or should you just get clones? If you didn't know, clones are actually made from PPT material, if I didn't mention earlier. Okay, so before we start the comparison, we need to build a keyboard because it is a keyboard video, right? I bought a Tofu 60 kit and it is actually the acrylic version. For the PCB, it will be the DZ60 RGB V2. I'll be using this Everglide screw-in steps which were wholly modded and looped. I assembled that with the polycarbonate plate and threw in my Everglide Aqua Kings which were looped and filmed. Now that we have built the keyboard, let's take a look at the three different sets of keycaps. We have a no brand cheap PBT fake GMK, we have a GMK laser team set from Echo, and GMK laser itself. So let's start off with profile. They are supposedly all chair profile, but you can actually notice that the other keycaps are a little off in the chair profile wise, and that you can actually see pretty obviously that the actual GMK keycap has a nicer profile, higher keycap compared to the others. We're gonna move on to the prints. Clearly, GMK has sharper and cleaner prints compared to the others. But comparing Echo's print to the cheap print, Echo's is actually really similar to the cheap print. So, I, I'm actually kind of confused at this part. But comparing it to GMK, this just boils down to if you are willing to pay more for a nicer print on your keyboard. We're gonna move on to the material of the keycaps. I'll be using the spacebar for this because it's easier to fill because it's a larger key. For the material of PBT and the fix, they feel smooth. Uh, they, it just feels smooth and a little like bumpy I would say but the Echo Space Bar actually feels oddly similar to the cheap off-brand keycap it just feels smooth and nothing else 
As for the Dream K, it feels a little rougher, but I will say that's better because you don't want a smooth keyboard, then you'll be slipping while typing, right? You can definitely feel a thicker material used on the keycap itself. Now we move on to the most important factor, sound. I'm going to do three typing tests for you guys, but I am going to blindfold you guys. Okay, so you can't see, right? Uh, just making sure, alright. So focus on which one you like more and the differences in acoustics. The first one was actually the non-branded fake GMK, followed by the real GMK and the Echo Laser Team keycap set. It's actually quite hard to differentiate the sounds like after I'm here, but you guys understand because you guys heard it and you can clearly tell the difference I'm sure. Overall, there truly is a difference between using more expensive keycaps compared to cheaper keycaps. So being completely honest, I would actually recommend getting GMK keycaps and here's why. The value of the GMK keycaps actually comes from the exclusiveness of the cherry profile, the uniqueness of each group buy and the fact that people are willing to pay so much more for them. Even if you purchase GMK keycaps and you don't really like them, you can sell them to a price that's equal to the amount you paid for or even higher of what you paid for. The keycaps basically don't lose value, so technically you do not lose money and why is that? As long as there's a demand for luxury keycaps, then GMK will never lose its price. Whereas if you're comparing it to knockoffs, people can get them brand new in online stores. Although demand might be high for this knockoff or clone keycaps, but the supply is always there and it's basically infinite. So buying those is technically a loss of money because you cannot resell them for a higher price because people can get them for the exact same price that you got them for anytime they want. In conclusion, if you have money, buy GMK keycaps because you don't lose the value in the GMK keycaps. You get better acoustics, nicer material and authentic cherry profile. If you have no money, save up for the GMK keycaps. These keycaps can be used anytime whenever you're upgrading. Let's say you're using a GK61 now and in the rabbit hole pretty deep. I'm pretty sure you're gonna upgrade to a Tofu 60 or something later on down the line so you can have the GMK keycaps, you don't have to throw them onto your GK61, you can wait till you get your Tofu and then throw the GMK keycaps on. And if by then you're out of the keyboard hobby, you can sell them for the exact same price that you got them for or sell them for an even higher price so you don't lose money. But if you really cannot control yourself, you really want the keycaps but you don't want to pay that much then just get the knockoffs because yeah. We have come to the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video gives you a deeper understanding on why GMK keycaps are so expensive and where they are from and why they are so high in demand. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead, leave like, comment, subscribe, comment down below your favourite GMK keycap set. Mine is GMK Striker but I haven't gotten the real ones yet and I will be looking forward to getting them. Subscribe down below, it's free. This took me really long to make and that script was really hard to remember. So subscribe for keyboard content and like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.